Respect my mind or die from less shower. I pray my dick get big as the Eiffel Tower so I can fuck the world for 72 hours. God damn, I got bitches. Damn, I got bitches. Damn, I got bitches. Wife, be girlfriend, and mistress. All my life, I want money and power. Respect my mind or die from less shower. I got 25 lighters on my dresser. Yes, sir. Yep. I just came back from the Kendrick Lamar concert. Don't be jealous. Don't hey boo. This is what I do. Concert kind of so up in this piece. I literally just walked in the house from the Kendrick Lamar concert here in St. Louis at the Shafitz Arena. What I didn't know upon going that it was a college tour concert. So me and my boyfriend went and we were like Snoop Dogg old ass dinosaurs amongst a tribe of little eggs of kids it was so many children there i could not freaking believe it i felt so out of place and so old and so my age for the first time in life but let me tell you all about my night so as you can see no more shirt hard for me i have my hair back in the bun um and this was a fight y'all like getting my short ass hair up into a ponytail was like a WWE WrestleMania match. I was the rock. My hair was Stone Cold Steve Austin. Pulling these edges back was like giving my hair a boot kick to the face. And then, then my hair was like, I'm no bitch, I'm gonna hit you with a body slam. So it literally took me about two hours to get my hair done, but I like the finished product, I'm cute. So, we finally get to the concert. It started at 7 o'clock. We get in there. We find our seats. And this band called Bad Rabbits was performing. And the lead singer reminded me of The Dream and a dashiki with a four-piece band. Like, I couldn't really get into them. To me, they seem like they haven't really found out who they are. Like... For a part of their set, they were playing Belle Bill DeVos instrumentals and doing old school 90s dances, but yet and still they were like an alternative band, and but they were African American kids, and it was just really weird, and I just felt like I was just trapped in a time of tie-dye and gumbies and gold teeth and gold chains and big ass sky phone pages. Like, I just couldn't deal with it and I just wanted them to get off stage and I just wanted to literally just go to sleep at that point but the whole time I was sitting there I was just thinking of Fatal, the movie's Fatal Attraction with Glenn Close and I just wanted the bad rabbits to go into a pot of water and for them to be boiled like I just couldn't deal with them and I was just waiting for Kendrick Lamar to hit the stage and he finally did and when he did for the first time, I did not feel like an old ass woman. I literally felt 16 again. Me and my vagina did backflips and somersaults. Like it was just freaking amazing. He came out immediately performing songs from his critically acclaimed mixtape section 80. He performed songs like Hold Up, like ADHD. Like he did his thing. I was instantly into I have been a fan of Kendrick Lamar since I heard a song with him and Janae Kill, and he did one of the most profound verses I have ever heard like it literally made you want to just cry and think and eat bowls of cereal non-stop like I just love him and I secretly have a crush on him like I have dreams of him and I living in Compton and me wearing house shoes around the corner to the corner store and me having dookie braids and big bamboo earrings and us and then us having little Pyru and Crip babies that we'll name Tangeray and Alize. Like I just love him. Like he makes me want to just go to my nearest supply store, uniform supply store, and buy a whole Dickies outfit and a 40 ounce and drink it on a corner out of a brown paper bag 
Like Kendrick Lamar can just just love that little boy. And he performed all of the songs from off of Good Kid, Mad City. He performed all the great ones like um, he performed Fucking Problems. He performed Backseat Freestyle, Poetic Justice. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Everything that you thought he would perform, he looked super cute. And a black fitted cap with Los Angeles written across the brim of it. A black t-shirt with three sevens on it. And some dark jeans and some white sneakers. Like, he was just laid back, refreshed. And right next to me were these little kids grinding on each other half of the night. And I was like, where in the hell is y'all damn mama? And... I'm like, please don't get crabs, y'all grinding up on each other so hard. But then I was secretly th th thinking in my head, looking at my boo, like, why you ain't grinding up on me? Like, what, what, I'm too old to be grinding up on now all of a sudden? Like, <sighs> then at some point in the concert, Kendrick stopped so he could take a drink of water. And he asked the crowd if they wanted a sip of his water. And I literally thought, like, he was just going to spray the crowd with his water. But then this Negro gives takes a sip of the water and passes it each bottle to someone in the crowd and they literally drank behind him i'm like the hell these kids don't know about the bird flu about swine flu i i couldn't deal with that like i love you kendrick but no boo i'm not about to drink after you backwash ew no all in all it was a really good show it was very quick he only stayed on stage for uh, like almost an hour so i mean but for 35 dollars a ticket i really didn't feel that much ripped off but then again i did but i was ready to go home so i really didn't care but uh he did a good job i wish there would have been somebody there to open up the show that i really cared about and that i really wanted to see but um kendrick LaRue, kendrick lamar rules if you have not copped good kid mad city i suggest that you do it is an instant classic i give it five stars as well as his mixtape section 80. I can't wait to see what this young man brings us in the future and all the beautiful brown babies that we're going to have. Um, so that's it. I'm about to take off this makeup, take off my Trust No Bitch earrings, boop, and, and I'm gonna watch Rachel Zoe, Duke of Melrose, and it's a Brad Brad World on Bravo. So deal with it. Like, that's what I really want to do to Kendrick Lamar's face. I just want to lick his face all over like, oh. I love you, Kendrick.